Okay, well, we are here today at the Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill in Maryland, and we're about to head in and see what we can find, buy, and flip for a profit. Here we go. Check out all the Christmas trees. This one is really fun. I love the blue. <laughs> Maybe I should start decorating for Christmas. So there's some dragonware. Uh, there's no saucers to go with them though, so for that reason I don't think they're worth picking up. This is such a cute little dish. Go shoddy, it's your birthday. <laughs> I'm taking that with me. Alright, what do we have here? It's very fancy, but it is also fancy and broken. <laughs> it's, it's fancy and broken. Um, Alright, let's see. Oh, Chip is here. That's weird. Didn't we see Chip at another Goodwill? I guess he's maybe making the rounds. Oh, I see little butter pats in the back. They are Stonegate, Germany. Spring something. <laughs> I don't think I need them though. I like them. Oh, that one's like just boring and black. The first one's yellow and colorful. was here the last time. Oh hey, there's a stone. There's a stone critter in there. Seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Lots of bells. And a stone critter. I like that. Maybe I'll grab that for him. I don't see any signatures on the bottom, so it's possible he's just like a souvenir piece, but um we'll grab that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? What is that? There's no markings on it. $4.49? Is that like juniper? Or no, those are grapes. Huh. I like that. I like the glaze of that. I think it's also probably got some age. Ooh, that's like a stone. It's got some pretty marbling. I imagine it's made of marble, and then it has some really pretty uh, coloring to it. There's a sticker on the bottom. At one point, I think I'm going to grab this. I don't usually buy, uh, <laughs> buy stone vases when I find them, but that one is just kind of special. Made in China, by 49 on that. Oh, there looks, that looks like some Sitka clay. Possibly it could also be from um, Tennessee. I know they also have a similar uh, swirly clay. $3.49. Hmm. I think if there was a pair, I might take it, but just the single I'm going to leave behind. That's pretty fancy. I was hoping it was maybe signed, but I don't see anything on the bottom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we found some fire and light over here? <laughs> oh gosh. We got lucky the last time. I don't think lightning is going to strike twice. It's an egg cookie jar. Who makes this? I can't read that. Uh, M-A-F-A. -A. It's fault scrap. That's why I've seen it before. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Okay, here we are in bags, and there are some marbles down here. Oh, that's, I saw that big ball in there, and I thought maybe it was a nice marble, but it is actually a bouncy ball. Looks like these figurines are still hanging around. <laughs> they probably dropped a few times. In here, we have this gorgeous perfume. There's two perfumes in there. I don't think they have stoppers. I grab this because also there's a cat. Do you see the cat in there? It kind of looks like it could be Russian. Oh my gosh, those perfumes are gorgeous. <gasps> Wait, oh never mind, those are just the leaves to the wreath. I'm like, are those the stoppers? I don't know, there's a whole lot happening here in this bag and it's $8.48. So this is a bag that is coming with us. There's a teddy bear in there. Oh wait, what's this down here? We've got the Homeco Elves. And a really sweet little bear. <laughs> kind of like trapped in there with the Homeco. Um, 
I don't know. I think I, I would buy the Home Co, but it comes in a set of three. And what's kind of ironic is that I actually had the third the third one at one point, um, and I think I sold it during the what sale was that? It was one of our uh, our trains over on Knickknacks. I sold it. All right, I think that's it for baggies today. I'm not really seeing anything else, but I will circle back. There's a set of bowls that look kind of interesting. They are made in China. I like that they're all nesting. <laughs> I think that's why I'm attracted to them. They just nest neatly together. All right, well, no fire and light. We're really seeing much excitement here in this section. Spang Rondal with this collector's plate. Hey, Matt, let me just put this in here. All right, well our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $37, which is kind of funny because the last Goodwill was also $37. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna move on now to the next Goodwill and I will see you there. All right, well it looks like they have the fresh carts out, so let's see what we can find. Right there, Fenton. Perfect for the Fenton Frenzy as long as there's no damage on it. $8.49. Grab it. Sweet. This is absolutely adorable. It's Home Co. Look at their big eyeballs. We need that. All right, let's get a peek in here. Looks like that one's pretty much empty. Check out this fake food for Laurel. I think she's gonna absolutely love this. There's a little bit of tonella. There's no markings on that though. Where to leave it behind. That's kind of pretty, but I imagine this is contemporary. It's a neat design. And also this purple one back here is really pretty. I was kind of wondering if it was neodymium, but I don't think so. Right? That doesn't make sense. It's pretty though. I don't know, it's only $2.49. I think I'll grab it. It might be neodymium. Alright, we have a vase here. This is Classic Rose Collection, Rosenthal, Germany. For oh, it's $20. $20. I think I'm going to leave it. If it was like $5, i would probably grab it, but I don't think there's much room left there for me. So we're not going to take it with us. There are two of those. I just realized that. Are they complimentary? Wait. We've got one and two, and they're opposite. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. This guy's got ears, and this one doesn't. I guess we'll grab them both. That's really cute. I like it. Oh, it's got it's have damage. There's a little bit of chipping there on the edge, um, and it is actually a souvenir piece. You can see right there around the edge. So I think for that reason, I'll leave it behind. Souvenir pieces just don't do that well for me. So I usually don't pick them up. But right back here, we have a little cauldron toothpick holder. There's, There's a Snow White cup. This one is Walt Disney World Disneyland Made in Japan. $4.49 though. I don't know, I usually, I usually don't pick up contemporary mugs unless they're really speaking to me and that one is not. <laughs> I do love Snow White, but she's not speaking today. Let's check down here. We've got some cool stuff in the part so far. But I feel like we should keep looking. Here is an art pottery dish. Did I look at this before? I'm having like a moment of deja vu. <laughs> I like it. It says self-love. This is for all your self-love. It's kind of neat with the controlled bubbles for 49. Don't know who makes it though, and it's clear. If it was colorful, I might consider it. All right. Well, I just have a few things in the cart. Um, I didn't find a whole lot, and I think the rush of the fresh carts is done. Come here, you. This guy is just hanging out in the glasses. But look at that. He's a little Anna Lee. He's nine dollars and forty-nine cents. Usually, on average, for Annalise, I can get between um, like eight and twelve. 
sometimes I can get about 15, but uh, for that reason, I think I'll probably be leaving him behind because I just, I don't foresee making much on that. Um, although I do, I do love Annalise. Move this over because I want to look at that glass. That's kind of neat looking. I like that. Is there only one? Of course there's only one. Who makes that? Oh, it's not marked on the bottom. All right, I don't know if it's worth picking up just one cup. So um, for $2.49, I think I'm gonna leave it. If there was a pair, I might consider it a little bit more. All right, let's see what we can find here at the Middletown Goodwill. Although they wouldn't be too hard to ship. You just need like a big box on them. This is my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, the cut to cranberry. Sweet, and what is, a wooden? Oh, no, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> so look at it. There's a little carnival. Great pattern. It's marigold. Um, I think this is like 1970s. It's not super exciting. I think I'm going to lose it. Oh, look at the perfumes. Those are cute. How much on those? $3.49. I think I might grab those. All right, let's take a quick peek at the vases here and see if there's anything good. I love, I love all these little fake succulents. If I wasn't able to keep my own alive, I would probably get fake ones just because I think they're so cute. That looks like maybe Bormioli. I don't know. They make the blue. I don't think I've seen this cranberry color before. It's $2.49. a nice um, articulated plate in the back. Oh, it's a little pedestal dish. It's $2.49. It's kind of cute. I like the, uh, the colors, the florals. That would make for a little dessert stand. I think I might grab that. Here is a Starbucks You Are Here mug. Ooh, Ohio. <laughs> I will be in Ohio next month. All right, let's see what we've got over here in pictures. Now they had a huge sale this weekend and I think they're still like recuperating and restocking from that. So that's probably why the shelves are looking a little bare. That's kind of cute. What does that say? Jean, Jean something. She painted this and she did a pretty decent job on it. And that's McCoy, USA. Kind of plain and brown though, it's 4.49. I always check the spout because um, sometimes it's chipped on the spout, but this one seems good. $4.49, maybe I'll grab that. It's kind of cute and mid-century looking. It's pretty. Lots of color on that, $3.49. It's Nova, so like new Deruta, I think is what it's supposed to mean. And then this looks like Fiesta. Oh, it is Fiesta. How much on that? $12.49. I have a hard time moving Fiesta, so I don't think I'll mess with it. All right, the baggies deliver again. I just found this really cool bag of nesting puppy dogs. And they're signed, too. At least this one is. Collie. What does it say? I don't think I can read that. <laughs> it says something on there. I don't know. I thought those were neat. And then we also have, look at these little salt cellars. How cute are those? These are like more traditional in that they're just the white with the gold rim. And they are Austria. <laughs> I might I might get them. You know, I've talked a lot in recent videos how before COVID, um, these were really popular because people would have like fancy parties and they'd have gourmet salts that they would put in the salt cellars. And then after COVID, they seem to like slow down a little bit. But um, I might experiment with these and see what happens. We're going to stick them in here. What in the world does this thing do? Oh, it's a trivet. It's a foldy. Wait. It's a foldy trivet. That's actually, that's kind of cool. I don't see any branding or marking on, on that. Ooh, but I do see this. Talavera spoon rest. Sweet. $2.49. Very colorful and fun. I do pretty well with these. So I think I'll grab it. What is this? It's made in Mexico. It looks like a planter, possibly. I love that uh, red clay, and it is glazed. I think it's a planter. I don't know. It's made in Mexico. I'll leave it. Ooh, what is this? That's kind of cool. 
cool. It's got pretty blue flowers on it. <laughs> Studio pottery. Kind of a, a neat design. I can't read the bottom though. I think maybe I'll leave that. Folk art. Oh, it's BBP. What do you think that is? Is that a chicken? <laughs> Looks like a chicken. 149. Cute little BBP jar. I'll stick it in here. Can't really ignore these glitter fish. <laughs> That's a fun joke on this channel. Made for beachcombers, Fort Myers, Florida. I've actually sold through all of my uh, glitter fish, so maybe I'll have to grab this. Three forty-nine. And then this. Everyone's falling over. That's kind of neat. Minneapolis. I wonder if Andrew would like that. I can't really tell what it is. It kind of looks like a cannon, but it's really intense because there's two. I don't know. It's not. It's not the thing. <laughs> there is a rock or a gem, depending on who you ask. This is made of glass. It's very shiny. This is kind of cool. Um, I'm assuming it's like a it's supposed to be a movie camera. But it's also a trinket box. It has a hinged opening. It's obviously contemporary, but it's $5.49. And I just kind of like the style of it. It would look really, uh, really cute sitting on a shelf. So I think we'll grab it. There's some prints over here. Those look like Civil War. Hmm. Civil War prints. <laughs> Andrew goes to a lot of the Civil War shows, and I wonder if it would be worth grabbing these. North, south, what are they? Oh, there's a drawing on the back of that. That's funny because it's a caricature. <laughs> also, I dropped everything on the ground. I think I'll grab this one for $2.49. I have no idea what's going on here, except it's probably a Civil War, and yeah, I feel like I feel like Andrew would know. <laughs> We're gonna stick it in here. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, to, why don't you take personal photos out of your frames before you donate them? Now this is a hobbyist piece uh, from 1978. Um, Byron, it's, this is a Byron mold. Um, but they did a really good job. I mean, it's just real simple. They painted the pumpkin orange, the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> and it's really fun. I could totally see a tea light or something in there lighting it up. Just a battery operated tea light. I think I'm going to grab that. Halloween is coming. Although here at Goodwill, they're already transitioning to Christmas. <laughs> We've already got the Christmas transition happening. underneath that. Yeah. There's lots of nativities here. I'm not familiar with that one and there's a lot of breakage on it. What is this thing? Oh, it lights Mr. Christmas. It's a cookie jar with a light up <laughs> with a light up Christmas tree on the lid. That's neat. Or if it needs, can be turned on or if it needs new batteries. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Oh. oh, hey, speaking of little tea lights, here's a whole bag of them. I wonder if they work. Because I could use those at the shop. Hmm. They do, in fact, work. So I'm going to grab the whole bag for $3.49. Those will come in handy. All right, well, our total spend here at the Middletown Goodville today was $42. And uh, we've got some pretty neat stuff. I'm, uh, I'm excited about that ghost. I think the ghost was really cool and you know everything else the perfumes that we're gonna make money on it and uh, that's the name of the game uh, we didn't hit any home runs though I'm still waiting on today's home run <laughs> I've yet to hit it but I'm sure it's coming so um, I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'm going to move on um, but I guess I'll see you tomorrow so long